Hello, my name is Jeremy with Lakeness Life. This is my son, Oliver. And what we're doing is modifying his uh, Build and Grow toy ambulance. This is a wooden kit that we got at Lowe's. You can find these on Amazon a whole bunch of places. We'll put links in the description below. And what we're going to do is modify this with cool little lights in order for us to be able to have an ambulance with lights. And then of course we could add different accessories later on with a whole bunch of Legos if we want. So go ahead and come closer and get right in on here. So what we have is a little 12 place flat Lego, okay? And we're gonna place this Lego here. Now, in order to get this Lego on here, we are going to use two number four bugle head, five eighths long screws. You could probably do it with a half inch screw, but number four screws. And the first thing you do is you take a small drill bit. I did try with a countersink because we do need it flat for the pieces to be able to fit in there. But the countersink was disrupting or hitting the, uh, the little nubs here. So what I did, <clears throat> so you flip it over, you want to put them right in the center there of, you know, between four, eight, and 12. If you flip it over, it helps you find that center. So I use a small drill bit. This is a 16th inch drill bit. I drilled a hole. It did need to be a little bit bigger. And then I flipped it over. Here is a 7 32nds drill bit. You could probably use it just a tad bigger as long as it fits between the, the little nubs. And then I made a countersink. I don't know if you can get close there. In order to make a countersink, I just drilled this with my fingers. I didn't need a drill. You see what I'm doing? Then, what you do is you make it make it deep enough in order for the the bugle head to fit flat in there. Now I also had to because the bugle goes down a ways. I had to make the 16th inch hole just a little bit bigger. All right. So come in, get really close to this. What I did here is I put this on here. Now if I get too close, unfortunately it tips and it's going to cause me to. Uh, cause the Legos to not go to have a good spot. So I took a, a toothpick, used it as a spacer here, and then even though I'm interfering with the other little nails, it's okay. So you try to center it, and I centered it, and then it moved because of the nails. I'm using my Leatherman Skeletal tool. It's an amazing thing. I carry it with me all the time, but my bits are hardened and they did a lot better than my screwdriver here. So we're gonna put it in here, and screw it down. And I did not pre-drill the wood because it's soft enough and these screws are small enough, all right? So we're gonna take this one here. Can I put it in there? Sure. Go ahead. Get the brush down a little bit. There we go. Going. Yeah, push tight so we don't strip it out. There we go. And then get real close again here. You want to make sure that these screws are flush. Okay? The top of the screw is flush with the top of the Lego. Don't move anything on the table, but it gets kind of noisy for the camera. All right, so now that we're flush right there, you can kind of see this. Now we can add all sorts of accessories to the top of our little uh, thing here. But the accessory we want to add, make it to where you can still access the little buttons from the outside. There we go. Go ahead and put those on there on each side. Okay. And we might do one in the middle like this. Yeah. Then we use the little tool that the, the, they give us, and we can turn these on. And now we have lights with our, for our little ambulance. 